So we have R power n is equal to A power n sine n theta is there. Okay. So first thing what we need to do while finding pedal equation. First apply log of oh, is need to so apply log. So log r power n is equal to log a power n plus log sine n theta. Fine. So log a into b. I can write it as log a plus log b. So if you differentiate with respect to theta. Differentiate with respect to theta. So you'll get 1 by r power n, r power n, sorry, is nothing but n into r power n minus 1 into dr by d theta, you'll get it's equal to differentiation of this, this is 0 plus, okay, so 1 by sin n theta into differentiation of sin n theta. Is how much? Yes. Cos n theta. So n cos n theta. Fine. So implies here r power n is there. Here r power n minus one is there. So this will get cancelled. And uh, here n is there, here also n is there, we can cancel it. So we'll get left hand side 1 by r dr by d theta is equal to um, cos n theta divided by sin n theta. So this is nothing but part phi. Part phi is equal to part n theta. Okay, so implies what is phi? N theta. So it is N theta. Phi is equal to N theta. Fine. Now, what we need to take first after this? Substitute the value of phi in the p equal to r sin phi. Okay. So p is equal to r sin phi. Okay. So p is equal to r sin n theta. Okay. But take this as equation. So before that, uh, I'll find sin n theta value. So I can write P by R is equal to sin N theta. Okay. So take this as equation one. Okay. Now, uh, from given equation, given equation, from given equation, R power N is equal to A power N sine it is n theta is there so you can write n theta okay so now implies r power n divided by a power n is equal to sine n theta okay from equation one how can you write this p by r so will get P by R. Now do the cross multiplication for this. So P into of A power N into P is equal to R into R power N. Implies A power N P is equal to R power N plus 1. 
So this is the required pedal equation. Sir, I had a doubt. Yes. Sir, actually in that equation, P is pedal equation, right? Huh? In the in the final equation, the meaning of P is pedal equation, right? No, no, no. P means here what actually? Uh, I'm not clear, sir. P is what actually? There. Yeah, I'm asking like what is P? You, all, you only have to take. In the class, uh, somewhere I have given some P. Small P represents what? In the derivation. Yeah, P is equal to R of G theta. Hmm? R into G theta. No, no, no. While derivation, uh, if you see this equation, P is equal to R sine phi. How you got that? Like it, it is, uh, it comes under second step. No, no, no. Uh, and what I'm asking is, from where you got this equation? While well, giving derivations, geometrical explanation I have given for this. What is P there? It is length of perpendicular from the origin. Correct. Okay. Okay. So P is nothing but length of perpendicular from the origin or a pole. Correct. Okay. P is length of uh, perpendicular at pole and R is nothing but radius vector. So the equation in terms of length of perpendicular and radius vector is nothing but pedal equation. Fine. The combination equation uh, should contain length of perpendicular and radius vector. Then that equation is called pedal equation. Fine. Okay. Is it fine? Yes, sir. Now try this one. Here also, this is very easy. So first, apply log on both sides. So log R is equal to log A plus log of 1 plus cos theta. Fine. So now, differentiation of this with respect to theta. 1 by r, dr by d theta is equal to 0 plus 1 by 1 plus cos theta into, yes, how much? Yes, differentiation of 1 plus cos theta. Minus sin theta. Yes, minus sin theta. So this is nothing but cot phi. It's equal to minus sin theta by 1 plus cos theta. 
okay so now how to solve this you yes, already we did in the class to sign theta by 2 cos theta by 2 divided by 1 plus cos theta value Yes. Yes, Apurva Shetty, can you tell? One plus cos theta. Apurva. Bhumika. Yes, how much? Speak louder. Info. That is two. It's two sine square theta by two. Is it two sine square? Yes, it's two sine square. One plus ma. Two cos square theta by two. Two cos square theta by two. Cos square. Okay. Cos square theta by two. Yes. So cancel two. So cancel cos theta by two. So cot phi is equal to minus tan theta by 2 right okay so now cot phi will be how much how can i write this cot of molecular Pi, pi minus uh, pi by two minus theta by two. Pi by two minus or plus. Tan is negative. Uh, plus plus theta by two. Plus theta by two. Fine. So I can write phi as. Pi by two plus theta by two. Okay. So now uh, I have to take this phi value in p is equal to r sine phi. Okay. So p is equal to r sine pi by two plus theta by two. So P is equal to R into yes. Anupam. Anupam Krishna. Can you tell what is sine pi by two plus theta by two? Anupam. Turn on your mic and tell. Chaitanya.
श्रवण के कॉस थीटा बाई टू कॉस थीटा बाई टू फाइन सो नाउ um we need to find an expression for cos theta by 2 from using given equation okay i can write p by r is equal to cos theta by 2 so take it as equation 1 okay now um from given equation um R is equal to a into one plus cos theta. Okay, I can write R by a is equal to one plus cos theta. How can I express? Two cos square theta by two. Two cos square theta by two. Yeah, theta by two. So now uh, I can substitute cos theta by two value in this. Okay, so implies r by a is equal to two into cos theta by two value is p by r. So p by r whole square. So implies r by a is equal to two p square divided by r square. Implies cross multiply. R square into R, we'll get R cube is equal to two e p square. Fine. Just go through this problem. If you have any doubts, let me know. I'll give you some two minutes. Just go through it. We'll go for next topic. shall we continue for the next topic Yes. 
you are able to read that so if you're not able to read not a problem i'll share this as a pdf okay whatever the class we are doing now okay you can write the notes for that it's so not a problem so let me explain about uh, curvature and radius of curvature okay so here curvature is nothing but suppose if you take uh, any axis like x axis i am taking okay if i draw any curve in a plane like this okay now if i look at two points on it okay let me uh, note this as p and this as q okay so now what i'll do is if i able to draw the tangent through this so uh, i can make a tangent like this okay and uh, tangent at q i am drawing like this okay so now we have formed one uh, angle between tangents drawn at p and q correct tangents drawn at p and q this one this is p and this is q so this is a tangent drawn for p and this is a tangent drawn drawn for q okay now if i write this as delta psi okay a small difference in angles okay this angle i am making it as psi okay now what about this angle exterior angle One eighty minus delta psi plus psi. Ah, huh. correct. That is nothing but uh, sum of the interior angles. Yeah. Okay. So that means psi plus delta psi. Okay. Suppose if I take the distance between the arc PQ is if you take a, as delta s. Okay. Delta s is nothing but uh distance between p and q where p and q is an arc correct so uh if i increase the size of delta psi what happened to the distance between p and q If psi value increase, distance between p and q is also increase. Correct. Similarly, if I decrease distance between p and q, what happened to the angle? This also angle will decrease. Angle also will decrease. So delta psi is depending on delta s. Okay. So, if you take the ratio between these two, okay. If I take del uh, ratio between these two, delta psi divided by delta s. This is called mean curvature. Okay, basically. The meaning of the curvature is nothing but how much uh, the curve is bent at these two points. Okay, so how much uh, bending has happened between these two points? Any two points on a curve. Okay, that is basically called curvature. Okay, so the amount of uh, bending in the curve we can say it as curvature. So, uh, using this concept, we'll do some problems. Okay. Uh, so, it is denoted by, curvature is denoted by K, the letter K. So, K is defined as, 
limit as delta s tends to zero delta psi by delta s is nothing but d psi by ds okay so this is nothing but difference of psi with respect to difference in s okay where s is a distance s is nothing but length of the curve and delta s is nothing but the distance between p and q fine so he is applying for entire curve okay so uh, finally we can uh, denote and define curvature as derivative of psi with respect to s okay so if you find out the reciprocal of curvature that means 1 by k is nothing but ds by d psi okay ds by d psi this is called radius of curvature radius of curvature fine so reciprocal of the curvature is called radius of curvature okay and this is nothing but it is denoted by the letter rho okay it is denoted with the letter rho okay so here i am writing the symbol check once okay so now wait a minute Okay. Here we'll write an expression for uh, rho. Okay, in terms of derivatives, how will you represent? Means here I'll write expression for expression for radius of curvature. is nothing but uh, rho is equal to 1 plus y1 square whole power 3 by 2 divided by y2 okay so derivation is not needed so directly i'm going to for uh, expression okay so if you want to find radius of curvature means you need two things y1 and y2 where y1 and y2 are the first order derivative and second order derivative of that particular curve. Fine. So, note this expression for radius of curvature. We will proceed with the problems. Okay. So make a note of this formula, we will go for problems. Okay. So I will proceed for this. So write down the solution for this. Here what they have given is, define curvature and radius of curvature. They are asking the definitions. And find the radius of curvature for the curve x cube plus y cube is equal to 3axy. At the point 3a by 2 comma 3a by 2 on it okay so let us write the given curve so the given curve is x cube plus y cube is equal to 3a x y okay so now first what we need to do 
differentiate with respect to x for one time so differentiate with respect to x so what happens if you differentiate this expression yes it will be 3x square plus yes y cube y cube differentiation of y cube i uh, 3y square hmm? 3 3y square y square into dy by dx into dy by dx i can write the dy by dx as y1 shall i yeah which is equal to 3a into s differentiation of x y y hmm? it will be y product will be hot right y is also function of x so i can write x y1 plus y into differentiation of x y y right y into 1 okay so now uh, segregate all y1 terms to one side and remaining terms to another side okay so what's your next class okay now we will continue 3y square y1 i am sending this uh, term that means the 3a xy1 to left hand side so minus 3a xy1 left hand side is equal to right hand side how much will be there 3ay minus 3x square so i can take a 3 common and cancel it so 3 y1 i am taking common here y square minus ax is equal to 3 into ay minus x square so cancel 3 and write only y1 in the left hand side send this term also that's it so ay minus x square divided by y square minus ax okay so take it as equation 1 find y1 at 3a by 2 wait at this point 3a by 2 comma 3a by 2 so substitute x is equal to 3a by 2 and y equal to 3a by 2 what happens here 3a square by 2 Minus nine a square by four will get divided by nine a square by four minus three a square by two. Okay, so which is nothing but how much will get? Same ratio with opposite signs. Okay, same values with opposite sign in numerator and denominator. So cancel it. Answer will get minus one. Correct. So y one value at given point three a by two comma three a by two. We got it as minus one. So make a note of this. Okay. Now we need to find y two also because here. Rho is equal to one plus y one square is there whole power three by two divided by y two. Okay, 
So now we need to find y2. So find y2 here. y2 is equal to differentiation of this one in the right hand side. What happens? So that means d by dx of this one. Ay minus x square divided by y square minus ax. Okay. So y2 is equal to how can you write? U by v, quotient rule. So y square minus ax. Okay. Differentiation of Ay minus x square with respect to x. How much? Bhumika. Of Devika Shetty. Yes. So what happened? Differentiation of ay minus x square with respect to x. This is nothing but ay1 minus 2x, right? x minus. So numerator aside and differentiate denominator. So ay minus x square into differentiation of denominator. How much? Two y minus ax. Two y into differentiate with y one. With y one. Right? So you'll get y one minus a. A. Differentiation of ax is a divided by y square minus ax whole square. Fine. Okay, so now we need to simplify this. Okay, so y2 is equal to, um, can I substitute directly the value of uh, this point at this y2? So no need to do simplification at that time. Okay, just we need to substitute this point and then later we will simplify. Okay, so um y square so what i'm doing is here i'm substituting this point y2 at 3a by 2 comma 3a by 2 so is equal to how much y square means 9a square by 4 minus 3a square by 2 Okay, next, a into y1, y1 is minus 1, so I'll get minus a, minus 2x, how much? Minus 6a by 2, minus 3a, no, 3a, 6a by 2, that means minus 3a, 3a, next, minus, here also, 3a square by 2 minus 9a square by 4. Okay. Next into 2y y1. 2y is nothing but 3a, right? Minus 3a. So you'll get minus 3a minus a. All divided by denominator. 9a square, square by 4 minus. 3 square by 2 whole power 2. Fine. So now we need to proceed further. So wait a minute. I'll add this slide.
Now you check. So here, uh, simplify it. 3a square by 4 minus 3a square by 2 is how much? 3a square by 4. You get 3a square by 4 into? Minus 4a. Minus 4a. Minus of? Minus 3a square again. Hmm? Minus, minus 3a square by 4. So that means it will become plus. Yeah, plus 3a square by 4. 3a square by 4 into? In minus 4a. Minus 4a. Okay. So divided by this one. 3 a square by 4 whole power 2 na? Yeah. 9a square by 16. Yes. 9a to the power 4 by 16. Yes. Later we'll apply the square. Okay. So y2 is equal to how much? 4 4 get cancelled. Here also 4 4 get cancelled. So minus 3 minus 3. You'll get minus 6a square. Okay, sorry, a cube. Correct. A cube. Okay, six a cube divided by nine a power four divided by sixteen. So this can be written as uh, minus six a cube divided by nine a power four into sixteen. Because I have uh, reverted the uh, fraction in denominator. So at that time what happens? A cube get cancelled. In denominator A will be there. Next uh, 3 twos, 3 threes. Correct. So 2 into 16 is how much? Minus 32 divided by 3a. So this much will remain. Fine. So now we found y2 is equal to minus 32 by 3a and y1 is equal to minus 1. Okay. Minus 1. Fine. So therefore find out rho. That means radius of curvature. Yes. Radius of curvature. Is nothing but rho is equal to 1 plus y1 square whole power 3 by 2 divided by y2. So rho is equal to 1 plus y1 square minus 1 whole square whole power 3 by 2 divided by minus 32 divided by 3a. So rho is equal to how much? 2 power 3 by 2 into 3a divided by, I can write uh, minus 32 as minus 2 power 5. Correct. 2 power 5 is 32 only. Fine. So this is nothing but 3a into, I can write 2 power 3 by 2 minus Five with minus here. Why? Because a power m divided by a power n. A power m minus n. Correct. So rho is equal to minus 3a into 2 power minus 7 by 2, right? If you take the fraction, that means LCM. So we'll get uh, minus 3a divided by 2 power 7 I can write it as uh, 2, 2 into 2 power 6 whole power 1 by 2. Correct. So 2 into 2 power 6 will get 2 power 7. 2 power 7 whole power 1 by 2. So total 2 power 7 by 2. So now if I split this power, what happens? Rho is equal to minus 3a divided by 2 power 1 by 2 means root 2. Okay, so 2 power 6, whole power 1 by 2. 
how much 2 power 3 so 2 power 3 is how much 8 so 8 so it is into so this is nothing but minus 3a divided by 8 root 2 so this is the required answer we need